Alright, uh, good morning one and all and welcome to another Airflow Tutorials. Uh, it's gonna be a, a real quick tutorial where I would be walking you through the Airflow experimental uh, REST API. So a lot of you, whenever you're making uh, ETL workflows, you wanna also trigger these tag runs externally through a REST API, right? Uh, that is exactly what I'm about to sto show you first of all. Uh, let's go to the postman and first of all, uh, I'm actually gonna try my best to you know minimize my screens uh let me see if i for, first of all let me just adjust my screen a little bit okay so uh, let me do this one right there and then i'm gonna put put this here okay so the first thing that i'm gonna about to show you is basically it's called the stats so the stats api would basically give you the status of the attack so for example if i want to see this tag around shillong construction just for fun uh, you provide the DAG id and the the route is admin slash airflow slash task underscore stats and you give a query parameter so if you send this uh, i just want to show you how the response is uh, so if you see uh, we have status as success um, count as zero so zero i mean it was not initiated right so uh, fail status do we have anything running zero okay we have anything red that means failed anything count zero so it gives you a nice status of all of these um, stuff so it's pretty nice if you want to set up a crown there uh, which is listening to 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 the uh, DAGs you could uh, you, you could just call the API and your DAG and then you can see check the ca failed count if it is greater than zero you could do something trigger an email so that's that okay so first thing uh, the stats API Another thing that I would like to uh, walk you through is basically uh, this toggle button, right? Whenever you want to trigger a DAG, you would click on this toggle button and then you would start the DAG run, right? Is there a way I could do that through a REST API? Well, yes, I mean, it's easy, right? So the endpoint is uh, again, your domain name slash API. I would put all the domain in the description, so don't worry about that. So it starts with API, experimental, DAGs, and you give it the name of a DAG that you wanna toggle and then false or true at the end. So for example, if I send a false signal to that, that one, oops, says method not allowed because that was a get method. Let's try with the get method, response okay. I'm gonna refresh that. Uh, and here you can see the DAG has started. I did not do it. I basically was triggering it through the REST API. Uh, I would like to, Turn it off uh, for some reason, so you could set it to true. Uh, send the request, uh, response is okay. Uh, would like to refresh that, and it's off. Okay, so the task is complete. Again, we could go to the stats API and verify if the task was complete. Count as one, success count is greater than one. Amazing, right? Uh, what else you could do? Um, if you want to trigger DAG runs, uh, if you want to actually start the DAG, uh, we have an API endpoint for that as well. So it starts with uh, API slash experimental slash DAGs and the name of the DAG. And you just say DAG run. Uh, so this is this worked for me for some reason. Just want to like let you know. So if you post this one, that's a great get request. Uh, you would get a bunch of details. Uh, so you got the run ID, the start date, the, the state that's running. So you got all of these, right? So you could do that as well if you would like to do through a REST API. Uh, I would leave all the links in the description section below. So if you guys want to check them out, the API links for Airflow. With uh, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep coding, uh, be happy. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time. Thank you so much for watching.